right on time. Miss Peregrine, delighted to meet you. But don't you stand there, sit down. Your tea is getting cold. You are here for tea, aren't you? And you are on time. This is absolutely perfect. How do I know that? Well, you weigh approximately 107 pounds, correct? And you approximately walk 3.1 miles per hour if you're like every other human being, I suppose. So with your added weight and the likely event of a breeze going up north, it would have taken you about 25 minutes and 14 seconds to go from your place to this house. Am I correct? I am correct. Now, what kind of tea do you want? I have plenty. I'm going to show you all of my teas and explain their benefits to you. Yes, that's absolutely true. There aren't many things I can't explain. That will be all, Olive. Thank you. No one enjoys overboiled tea. All right, all right. Um, let me put that pipe there. Um, is this beautiful Klimt cup to your liking? It is? Fantastic. But I think I will keep it for myself. No, of course not. You shall have it. All right. Oh, I absolutely adore Klimt. Anyway, let me show you our afternoon teas. They are all Parisian blends, of course. Uh, so let's start with the merriest of all. Um, this is, where is it? There. This is chocolate spicy tea or spicy chocolate tea, I suppose, or spicy chocolate flavoured tea, that would be more correct, more grammatically correct. Um, it is black china tea with scents of chocolate and spices, as the name says. It smells like Christmas. It smells, it smells so merry, you know? Like Santa Claus, like like a Christmas tree, like a reindeer. Have a smell. Do you like it? It is divine. Now, we have a more classic, less original. Uh, almond green tea, this one. Now, this tea is, as it says, green tea with scent of almond and it has very soothing properties. When you drink that tea, you feel as light as a feather. It is truly, truly marvellous. Mm. It even sounds good. Now, our um, next tea is, well, a little bit more luxurious, more royal as a matter of fact. This is the Prince Vladimir tea. So. This is a Russian blend of black china teas with scents of bergamot, lemon, grapefruit, vanilla and spices. A bit more elaborate, you see. It smells like happiness. Here, yeah, smell it. It has the scent of a royal party in a Russian palace. 
drink it and you will feel like Anastasia. Now, our next tea is a simple but classic four red fruits tea. very good for digestion. Emma often has an upset stomach and this tea has been very very helpful when these times come. So um, this is a black china tea with scents of um, cherry, strawberry, raspberry and blackcurrant. Simple but efficient. Now our last tea is the green St. Petersburg tea or Petersburg, I don't know how to pronounce that in English, sorry. It is a um, green tea with scents of citrus fruits, red fruits, vanilla and caramel. It is our most um, gourmet tea, I guess. Oh, it is divine, but, you know, maybe not for everybody. So, which one will it be? Mm, the chocolate spice. Excellent choice, my dear. So, let me get my tea infuser. Alright. It's ready. Oh, well. I guess we do have to wait for the tea to be infused. I love this teapot. I absolutely adore it. Mm. Let's wait a bit, shall we? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. 32 seconds late, Fiona. Now run along. <laughs> pardon me. Anyway, do you take sugar in your tea? No? All right. Um, and do you take milk? No? That's fine. Now, let's wait a bit for the tea to be ready. You wonder why you're here, don't you? Well, you are a peculiar, you see. It's a recessive gene carried down through families. Just like me, I am a peculiar named Ambrain. That means I can turn into a bird, which is, well, not very useful to be honest, but an Ambrain main skill is the manipulation of time. I choose a safe place, a safe day, and I create a loop, just like this one. You will be absolutely safe here. Nothing can ever happen to you as long as you stay in this loop. And of course, I reset this loop daily so you can stay here forever. This is a home for peculiar children, such as yourself. You are a very, very peculiar child. Boy or girl, I'm not quite sure. Pardon me. Now, um, let's pour you some tea. That's quite enough. There. Drink it while it's hot. Now, will you stay for movie time? We watch Horace's dreams. He mainly dreams about clothes, but sometimes his dreams are prophetic. What is it? Are you cold? Listen, it would not be reasonable to have another cup of tea at that time of night. So, let me think. Horace, 
Horace, come here, boy. Can you lend some warm clothes to our little friend? I'm afraid he or she um, is getting cold. Yes. In the meantime, um, wrap this blanket around you. Yes, there. Now, do you feel better? <laughs> of course, you can ask me anything. What will happen to you when you go back? Oh dear, I can't tell you. Well, I could, but I won't. Of course, I know what's going to happen to you and that is because, well, there are only a few things I do not know. However, I cannot tell you because we don't discuss the future here. See, we enjoy living in the now. Talking about the future is absolutely forbidden. It's absolutely prohibited. Hugh, Bronwyn, there you are. Shh, quiet please. What are you telling me? You are five minutes and 31 seconds late. Where on earth have you been? I do hope you are not bringing the police with you. It seems like every time you go to the village, you cause such a fuss. The police come and knock on my door. I've had to kill them four times this month. Can you imagine how terribly inconvenient this has been for me? No one likes to murder the same people more than twice. And this poor officer. I've run out of creative ways to end him, really. Now, run along. Supper will be ready in 7 minutes and 36 seconds. Now, now, let's get back to you. Horace will come down with warm clothes for you, so feel free to go upstairs and change. We have prepared a bedroom for you, if you would like to stay the night. Well, yes. I believe it will be quite dangerous to go back to the village when it's dark outside. You ought to stay with us. Oh, absolutely. Everyone is happy here. You will be very happy here. I am happy here. You won't even have to worry about growing up. Now, what is it? You wish to say the night? Oh, that's marvelous. Pardon me, but I must at the table, so I'll see you at the dinner table. We will be eating the officer. <laughs>